Hey guys, just me, Rob's here today, and today I'll be showing you how to flash your M8S box with the chipset BCM4335. Okay, the parts we're going to need is a USB mouse, standard remote mail to mail USB cable, a 2 gigabyte SD card or micro SD card, an SD card reader if your unit does not have one built in. Going, going on to the next step, as I said, a lot of people flashing the incorrect firmware, not being aware that there's two different Wi-Fi chipsets. Now, what this means is, one, they've bricked their box and they can't recover to a working state. Two, they've lost Wi-Fi signal and only Ethernet works. Two, they've lost their Bluetooth as well. And three, uh, their remote uh, control functions don't work either. So what I've done today is I've put this video together for you guys, uh, put together a, a little compilation package to download in the description below, which includes the image file, includes the SD card files, and the USB burn tool recommended uh, to do this. Now, basically, this will get your system, your unit back to stock standard Android, and it's a two-stage uh, process. Okay, as I said, the link's in the description below. It's uh, roughly one, one and a half gigabytes uh, in size. And it can, once it's unzipped, it contains a part one folder, part two, and the USB burn tool. Now, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to install the USB burn tool. Okay. And you're going to install the World Cup drivers that also comes with the tool. If you don't install the drivers, your system might not detect uh, the M-Logic box. Now, once installed, we fire up Burn Tool. You're going to notice it's in Asian. Okay, simple fix. Up the top, click the second one, click English, bang, you've got it, the English version. Now, next, what we need to do is we need to go to the folder where we downloaded uh, the recovery package. Okay, click on part one. It's going to load up the image file. Now, this is going to get your system working again, okay, without no Wi Fi or Bluetooth. So, now what we're going to do is, as mentioned previously, we need to do the toothpick method. Okay, basically, there's, there's your toothpick method there, toothpick in the AV hole in my case, and there's the, uh, the USB mail connector which needs to go on the outside port mind you okay next as I said we need to uh, hold in the, the reset button recovery button plug in our male USB cable and you should see USB burn tool detect the system just keep holding down that reset button, could take uh, 5 to 10 seconds. Just keep holding it down. Okay, just gotta keep holding it down. We'll come up. You'll hear the windows uh, recognize it by making a sound. There we go. Okay, so it says connect success. Click start. This could take roughly between three to five minutes.
I'm just going to pause it for a little while. while it's okay, we're almost complete, about 95%. Only six percent. Okay. I think in about another ten, fifteen seconds we should be done if everything goes well. Generally, the last 4% takes a little bit longer for some reason. There we go, it's downloading the bootloader. 97%. There we go. As you can see, we've got the green light, which means 100% burn successful. If you get an error, it'd be in red and it'll give you the error message down in the display box down the bottom here. Okay, next, what we need to do is click stop. And then disconnect the mail USB cable. Okay, we're done. We're done with that now. Power up your box, plug in the power, and uh, let it go through the boot process. Okay, it's going to look like uh, what it looked like originally as a standard box. Uh, like I said, the only difference is there will be no Wi Fi, Bluetooth, or your remote function. Okay, don't panic. Like I said, it's a two-stage process. Now, what we need to do is basically go back to our uh, recovery file package. Okay, go to part two. Copy these files here. You got one, two, three, four, five, six. Want us to read me? So five files. Okay, copy those. And put them onto the root SD card. Okay, of your SD card. It must be an SD card and it must be on the root directory. Your SD card has to be formatted to the FAT32 for it to work. Okay, let's go. Copy and paste them, control V, whichever way you want. Let those files copy across. Got 60 seconds approximately to copy all those files across. Okay, it's almost done. A few seconds to go. Now, once that's done, you pull that out of your SD card reader, place it into your powered uh, AmLogic box. Okay, and this time round, we're going to do the toothpick again. And connect the power cable and not the USB mail connector. Okay. Now what's what what that's gonna do? That's gonna go through a flash cycle again and it's gonna flash back your original M Logic uh, firmware, which will give you Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and remote functions again. Hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, big thanks to CJ Collins for testing this out on his uh, M Logic 4335 chipset. Uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe and help me continue to make more videos. Thank you.